Hey, this is Sean OTD. Welcome back to Is It Worth It? Today, the A Solo by iJoy. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I was really excited about the A Solo when I first heard about it. It was the first temp control camphor mod that I heard about. And I pulled up several different reviews and every ignorant frack that I looked at the reviews on had some stupid tank on there. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm doing uh, temp control on nickel or titanium. So does every other mod. Uh, I want to know about Canthal. I didn't care if it was in a tank and I didn't, I didn't care if it was you know, in a dripper. I didn't care as long as it was, it was you know, Canthal and not you know, your normal nickel or titanium. I went ahead and out of my friends, of course, since I do reviews, I bit the bullet. I spent 150 bucks on this thing. And I come in, I was like, yay, I get to see if it works. And I put it in there and I, for the first five days, I had this cotton in there. And if you notice, this cotton is still pretty white. I was like, hey, this is pretty amazing. Didn't burn the cotton. Um, when it gets dry, there's a little, um, little bitty uh, drip symbol on the actual thing that will show you whether or not you need a drip or not. But right now you have it on 100 watts, you can go 10% up, 20% less, and it can go up to 150 watts, about, you know, or 200 watts actually, but it doesn't let you go up that high for temp control. Don't know why, it just doesn't. And I was like, okay, well, it's been like five days, let's pull the cotton out, and I pulled the cotton out, and you saw it was nice and white, I was like, great. So I swapped out the cotton. I used pretty much the same juice through the whole five days. Um, a couple times I dripped something else, but even then didn't, you know, funky the cotton up. And I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and, you know, check this out and went through day six and then day seven, I started to use it and had a problem. And the um, problem is that. I hit the fire button, it would say, is this, New or same coil? And I'm like, same coil, and then it would go back to its normal temp control, doing its normal thing. So I contacted A Solo, and I was like, hey, I've been waiting for your mod, I was really excited about it, I have a YouTube channel, I was going to do a whole, all this awesome stuff about this mod, and I'm super psyched, and after a week it stopped working. And they're like, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll send you another one. And I was like, okay waited over a month to get this one in. So this one comes in over a month later, and I was like, seriously? I have to wait for over a month to get my mod back. And it was my favorite mod because it was temp control campfall. And I was like, this is freaking amazing. So I grab it and I'm like, yay! I used it for about three days. And on the fourth day, same problem. Really? So I spent 150 bucks on a mod that it's only half gonna work. It seemed like it was a pretty common problem across the board online. You'll see if you look up some of the reviews on, or some of the information on the blogs, you'll see that there's a lot of issues with that and they tell you to change your Addy, they tell you to change your build and all this stuff. So I've changed Addies, I've changed builds and all that. I finally got this one to work, which is finally working. Uh, this one, and once the screen goes dark, let's let the screen go dark and I'll show you. Sorry, we're going to play Jeopardy music or something here. Insert tunes here. Seems like whenever it goes dark, it has temporary amnesia. Like it has a head trauma or something. So when it goes dark and I hit the fire button, it says coil, same or new. And it's like, uh, same. And then it would fire as normal and work. And I was like, well, what the heck? So they both did it and I'm finally got this one worked. Some of the people online said that if you keep swapping them out and you keep swapping, you know, addies and builds and things like that, eventually you'll find one that actually works. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll try a few more times. So like I said, I finally tried this. Uh, happy to get to be Dripping my own juice today for my for my review here, the uh, Sean OTD VaporCo.com. Um, I'm doing uh, Dragon Treats right now, 
Uh, everything's 70-30, just FYI. Don't add out there, just a little nugget for you. Um, like I said, this will tell you if uh, you do need a drip. Uh, also, the drip indicator will pop up if it gets too hot. So it hits good. But it's a little weak for what I want, so pump it up to 10% more. That's a little better. So I'm hitting 110 watts right now. Uh, it has weaker, uh, yeah, I'd say weaker at 110 watts than like my Snow Wolf does at 90 watts or my Segeli 150 does at 90 watts. Because I usually vape at 90 watts on average, except for with the A-Solo, I have to crank it up as high as it will let me go, which is 100 watts for temp control and then I give it that extra 10% to kick it up to 110 watts. So I'm, I'm vaping at 20 watts more with the same batteries and the same build and the same addies, and I'm producing less. So the contacts are not as good. Um, it doesn't, uh, the battery life is fine. The button is fine. The fire button's nice and clicky. It's okay. Um, and the little T thing is a little annoying. I'd rather have regular buttons like every other mod, but yeah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that much of a deal breaker. Um, but outside of that, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. Uh, it comes with a fake carbon fiber sticker that you can put on both sides to change the aesthetics of it. it does come with a little, um, a little uh, sleeve that goes over them. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. They're Simply little sleeves, but I mean, you know, whatever. It's a little silica sleeves, but. That's how it's supposed to work. And the thing is, is I can't tell you how long it's gonna work. I just got this one to work, finally, after a while having it. And this one, still doing the same thing, not wanna work. So, uh, is, a hundred, is it worth uh, 150 bucks? Definitely not. If it worked like it was supposed to, and you, you had a more powerful hit at, and I could set it at you know 150 or 200 watts on temp control, then great. So uh, if you can pick one up for 50 bucks or less, then sure. If you have to pay anything more than I'd say 70 bucks for it, I definitely would not buy it. Um, but I just don't see the, uh, I don't see the temp control working as, as well as I would like it to do because I can't adjust the wattage past 100 watts. So that's kind of disappointing. Uh, even though it does work, it it caps you at a certain point for you. You're not allowed to go beyond that point. You can go lower, but you can't go higher. It's like, what's the use of having 200 watts if I can't use them? If I want to get a quick ramp, I can't get that quick ramp. Where with everything else, it's temp control, you can. I think it's more like it's an alpha stage versus you know, being a completed product. So, is it worth it? No, not at normal retail price. If you can get it for 70 bucks or less, then you know it's okay to, to plink around with and have fun with and try out. But outside of that, it's not a serious mod, not yet. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Vape on.